1990 brought about Pakistan's revival and at St. Vincent, wayward batting by the West Indies and fine bowling by Pakistan brought the series level at 2-2. And so we have arrived at this beautiful ground at Border in Georgetown for the finale. It is a unique ground too, built entirely of wood and surrounded by a moat. Anderson Cummins comes in for Jimmy Adams. And Pat playing an unchanged side, the same side that won by 38 runs in St. Vincent. And uh, it was rather an elongated toss. That coin rolled for something like two and a half yards. But it came down tails. And Wazi Makram won the toss for the first time in five matches. Over the place, drying like mad. The bounce of the ball, no real bounce, no real pace at all. An absolute belter of a batting pitch. But there is a danger here. Although they get a lot of runs with Pakistan batting first, short boundaries, fast outfield, they will need a big score. Surface a few times or hit the bat. That's a fine shot. This outfield is very fast indeed. And it goes all the way. From the army base, this is a very fast outfield. Always is here at border. Well, and most pitchers say Lords in England. That's just a little push by the opening batsman for two. Just off the mark shot. Nothing hit hard. Did open the bowling on quite a few occasions in the one-day matches. That's gone. That'll go for four. Ordinary ball from Simmons. Well, Phil Simmons giving Sahel. I think he's going to open the bowling at medium pace on this sort of flat batting track. And try and strike a couple of wickets. He's got that away. Very, very fine indeed. Just wide of Murray. Deflection, very fine. May even have been off the glove. And another boundary. Yes, and it's gone to that short, straight brown boundary. Either end. Well, that'll go for four. Just a push. Just emphasizes how quick scoring this ground is. He just came forward and pushed it. Now, would you like to bat on this pitch? Look at this, a little push for one, one off the mark. Thank you very much, four runs. And in those days. Larry's after it. But the outfield is so fast, even though that's a long boundary, it's raced away for four. So this could be a massive scoring job here today. And no wonder he's smiling, he loves it. It's a fine shot. Amir Sahil is in great form. And he's found the gap through the cover. No ball from Walsh. Well, I'm not sure that he realized this was a no ball. I think it was just a good shot. He was into it very quickly, wide. He really does throw the bat. <laughs> well, that didn't go where he meant it to, but no one's going to stop that. He was trying to play that over mid-wicket. Yes, he completely mistimed that shot, and it still went for a four. Here we see he's trying to pull it, but in the end it comes too quickly, and he, instead of pulling it to mid-wicket, it goes... Sydney. Certainly did. He has been a very, very good player for the West Indies. Oh, that's going to be out, and it is. Ambrose takes the catch, and so Hill has gone. Uh, that ball was on him quicker than he anticipated. He wasn't in the right position to hook. Yeah, this has been a very, very easy pitch, pitch, but that was a very good bouncer. Very, very good bouncer indeed. Not enough time to pull that. It bounced fairly high as well. Currently Ambrose has done the job. Amir Sohail departs. Pakistan loses their first wicket at 66 in the 15th over. Here in, in Diana. Oh, that was well played there by Inzamam al -Haq. He really dismissed that ball from his presence. Uh, not much footwork, but he hit it beautifully. Well, the 
pitch certainly is slow. This one didn't quite come off the pitch with that much venom as the short ball to Amir Sohail. And in some Manuel have played it quite comfortably in front of that one successfully. Slicing the ball quite a bit. Oh, he's out, he's gone. And uh, that was not a good stroke. It was, it was slower than Rami is expected. A gentle return catch to Hooper. Rami's rather completely deceived there. Hooper certainly has been, has been bowling very well. And he's in such a good fielder to his own bowling. 76 for two. Well, that seemed pretty close, Umpire Duncan. You see, it looks in line when it hits him, but he's wider the crease is coming. It's really going down. He's pitching about here, somewhere out here, and cutting back like that. He's wide of the crease. Look at that. Big nip back ball missing. Tremendous movement from Cummings. <laughs> <laughs> and that's out. Beautifully disguised slow ball from Andy Cummings. Now that was a fine delivery. Terrific slow ball. Absolutely bamboozled Javid. Me and Dad came from nowhere. He's not bowled anything like that in this spell. Look at it. An absolute beauty. Full toss. Dead in line. That is out. I'm afraid full toss in line is out. 85 for three. He's cracked him on the helmet. Now that will be not signaled a wide. In fact, I spoke to Ampa Barker about this yesterday. He said that if the ball hit the batsman on the helmet, it would not count. This is the weird rule, uh, Tony. I, I'm not really... Uh, I don't know what really happens in international cricket. Now, in Australia, this would have been a no-ball. Balls. It's a nice shot. Outfield is fast, and there's a long chase here for Simmons. Just gets around to it. Once more, Bassin Ali working the ball around well. He gets three for that. Uh, All credit to Richard Richardson. We almost <laughs> tickled away for four. So, uh, rather inconsequentially by Inzamam. Leg buys have been signaled. So, in fact, he didn't get a touch on it. But four runs nonetheless. 125 situations, just like Javid Meandat can. Oh, that's his 50, his second in succession. Basid Ali, this young man on his first international tour, acknowledges the applause of the crowd here, many supporting Pakistan, and following his man of the match performance in St. Vincent in the last match when he got 64. Here he is now with a half century. And it's still to get 230, 240 of uh, Pakistan. Oh, that's a delicate shot. That's beautifully played for four. Well, we saw Richie Richardson play a couple like that in Trinidad, and that was all timing and placement, beautifully played. Yes, it was very deftly played, this, an attempted Yorker outside off stump, didn't try and smash it, just waited for it, used the pace of the ball and just sliced it away behind square. Quality play. Italy's going to get himself out. He struck that very well. Simmons won't get there. Picked it up well. Four from the time it left the bat. So both batsmen now have gone to 50. Bassett Ali having got to his a while back in the last over. And Zimam reaching his with his third four. Yes, beautifully helped away. He does have such talent. When I mentioned he's such sees the ball early. See, there you are, Bassett Ali running quickly, Inzimam just limping along of West Indies. He's out like before, going right across the line. So Inzimam, leg before wicket to Walsh for 53. A crucial blow there for the West Indies because this man can be very, very dangerous over the last few overs. Well, it was just a cross-bat hit, hitting across the line. 
might have been outside. We're not right behind the bowler's arm here in the commentary box. He might have got his foot outside off stump. He might have been a bit unlucky. 188 for four. I think that's outside off stump when he hits him. In the air, Murray will take the catch. So in the course of one over, both Inzamam and Basid Ali out. And Pakistan, 189 for five. Well, that was a very ambitious shot. Trying to pull Walsh off the front foot. See that left foot go down. The ball bouncing high, about chest high. That's a very difficult shot to play, even on this slow surface. And he paid the penalty. Sad end to a superb innings. One eight. Well, he's blocked that away. That's exactly where the West Indies know that they shouldn't bowl to as a Macram. Give him leverage outside the off stump. He's going to thwack it baseball style. And that really hit the middle of the bat and went for four. Yes, these late order strikers, you don't want to give them length. You've got to get it in the block hole. You definitely want it in the three over. That's gone away. And it'll find the gap between long off and cover for four. Bishop tending to be wayward here. Short ball followed by. Well, Wesley Macram adapted very well. No quick slog here. He just picked his spot, placed it nicely in that vacant area over extra cover. Just a little firm push. You know exactly what he was doing. That's an extra. That'll go for four. That really was a tremendous blow by Wazim Akram. He enjoyed it. Wasn't that a wonderful cricket shot? Ambrose trying to chase him on his legs. And look at him backing away, backing away, and just launching himself off the back foot. Look where that sprayed right foot is. That's all power. There's really no body into that. That's arms and power. And he knew exactly where he was trying to hit it.
pitching in line with the stumps and Brian Lauer just clipping him. Oh, he's bowled him. He's bowled Lauer. He didn't get up at all. And Nazir has got a wicket. He's in seventh heaven. And that is a real blow for the West Indies. Yes, that ball kept a little low. But just watch that. It just keeps a little low. It hits the stump quite low, but it skid along the ground. It skid off the... Well, just squeezed off the bottom of the bat. It's gone for four. They all come, but he certainly didn't mean it to go there. Yes, that, that really went off the bottom edge. Raman now to Simmons. Yes, I think that one went away for four off the pad. Not a good ball. And Raman's line has just strayed a little bit in this over. Yes, he was a bit fortunate earlier on getting away with a wide down the leg side. This time the ball just brushed the thigh pad of Peter Simmons.
short of a length and he just helped it for a six. Great shot. But helped it in front of square. I mean, an extraordinary shot. Amir, so difficult to get away here. Here's Amir Sahil. And he's got him. So Richardson going after Amir Sahil. Stranded and uh, Rashid Latif completing the job. And no wonder Pakistan are so jubilant. A magnificent innings by Richie Richardson. Yeah, you could see the frustration building up. He won and that's it. He realized the score asking rate was high. He had to, he went for it and chose the wrong ball. He'll try for it. And get it. Desmond Haynes, half century.
shouts. No doubt at all they might fall. 82, and that is the wicket that Pakistan has craved for. Yeah, well, just watch it didn't bounce at all there. I'm not sure whether that was that. It might have hit him outside the office.
is in Western is interest this crowd invasion. Well, four runs are now needed from two balls. So it's not all over, but that four had the look of decisiveness about it. The police are doing their best to clear the ground. The police horse at our commentary point end trying to keep the spectators behind the boundary. Just listen to this noise. Hooper, they're saying. Well, this is West Indian 110%. It's wonderful. Four to win of two balls. Wazim to Hooper. Well, that's just the single. And now the final equation, three to win, one ball to go. And if two are scored, the West Indies will win because they have lost pure wickets. Well, I'm not sure what team realizes this. Maybe he doesn't realize that they need only two runs to win if they don't lose the wicket. And that's crucial because they could easily give uh, the West Indies two runs and find that they've given West Indies the match. I don't think we've got time to go out and tell him, Amy. Well, this is the whole five match depending on the final ball. Two to win, effectively. Here is Wazim Akram. And they've won. The West Indies have got their two runs. And the players are voting for home. The crowd invasion has begun. And the West Indies, by scoring two runs off that final ball, have brought the scores level, but have won the series and the match by dint of losing one wicket less than the Pakistanis. The Pakistanis 244 for six, and the West Indies 244 for five. But could a series have ever had a more thrilling ending? Well, that, bit, that last ball was driven down the ground. Let's have one look at it again before the invasion. Central Asia, national between Pakistan and the West Indies ended in a tie. Both teams scored 244 each, Pakistan for the loss of six wickets and the West Indies for the loss of five. The five-match series thus ended level 2-2. Two -two. The last couple of overs were played in a charged atmosphere. There were repeated invasions of the pitch as the last over began with the home needing 12 runs for victory. The final equation, three to win. Vaseem Akram conceded 11 in that over, leaving the scores tied. According to the rules, the West Indies would have been declared winners for losing one wicket less had the crowd not hampered play after the last ball was bowled. Match referee Raman Subarao ruled that the crowd prevented a possible run out on the last ball, dashing Pakistan's chance of a win by one run. He therefore declared the match a tie.